until we can begin to provide real skills to people, we're all dressed up with nowhere to go. We need lawyers that are able to understand those international levels of business so that we get right value for our investment. We need all kinds of skills in place. But how long is it going to take? Who can afford it? When we talk about a platform, it is simply just that. It's a vehicle for people who would otherwise, or stakeholders who would otherwise not necessarily have the chance to talk to each other, to debate, to discuss, to find solutions in, in collaboration with each other. The objectives of NDDF were to create um, uh, an environment where these discussions could take place. Actionable ideas would come forward and then PIN Foundation and, and the other partners would carry these actionable um, as, uh, you know, suggestions and proposals and use it to advocate to government. There are five new government administrations in the Niger Delta, five of, the uh, five out of the nine states have new governments in place. And we wanted to be able to kind of get in on the ground with them as they are beginning to think about priorities for their budgets, thinking about how they're going to fund their different um, administrations and budgets within those states. We wanted to sort of be in on that early game and tell them and sort of let them know these are some of the concerns, these are some of the areas that your citizens, your local citizens are concerned about. What are the roles that we can play? The problem of this region is enormous. That is really what this conversation we are having is, got, has to be all about. The first day we focused on investment and funding opportunities for, for investors, and then we moved directly in, immediately into a conversation around skills development for youth and women. Capital doesn't discriminate. If you create the right conditions, capital will flow. Okay, there aren't some people somewhere deciding not to invest in the Niger Delta. As long as, as soon as the Niger Delta is presented and packaged properly, the money will come in. Teaching people how to think, teaching people how to ask questions, teaching people about an entrepreneurial attitude. Entrepreneurial attitude doesn't mean you have to start your own business. It's about being a problem solver, seeing problems and taking the initiative to solve the problems. The bottom line is, Skills development and entrepreneurship development is the way to go to provide viable options for male and female youth within the Niger Delta and the women of the Niger Delta. That must be done you know, in the, within the context of providing a very strong support base that also takes into consideration the different resources that will enhance that option. around strengthening agricultural value chains, and we ended the day with a discussion on governance. So it's important to start from the market to you know, determine the, the demand supply gap so that you can identify the opportunities within any sector. Without that, you can't really start. I welcome ideas on how we can reposition our agricultural economies, undertake public investments in critical social and economic infrastructure, and accelerate industrialization in our various states. But there are a number of concrete things that are happening now, especially at the state levels. Uh, we've seen Abia State and Delta State are passing laws for public-private partnership to make it more transparent and easier for uh, investors to know where they stand. And they're actively going out and promoting their states. For infrastructure, the government is setting up a $25 billion infrastructure fund to invest in the transport and energy sectors. How do we make our services effective? How do we make our services effective? And that's where the whole thing about the models for governance also comes into play. I mean, looking at the scale of the challenge, no single sector or no single agency can do it alone. And one of the key recommendations was really empowering local citizens and CSOs in, in, in advocating their rights to, to government.